My lady, I am obliged to tell you that your marriage to the king has been declared null and void. On what grounds? On the grounds of your close and forbidden degree of affinity to another woman, known carnally by the king. My sister. Then my daughter is... Yes. Elizabeth is to be declared a bastard. Madam, I swear to you, I will do everything within my power to protect and support her. And keep her always in the king's good and kind graces. Thank you. And now since my time approaches, I beg your grace to hear my confession. Also, I should like the constable present when I receive the good lord. Madam. Yes. I confess my innocence before God. I solemnly swear on the damnation of my soul that I have never been unfaithful to my lord and husband, nor ever offended with my body against him. I do not say that I have always borne towards him the humility which I owed him, considering his kindness and the great honour he showed me and the great respect he always paid me. I admit to you that I have often taken it into my head to be jealous of him. But God knows and is my witness I have not sinned against him in any other way. I think not I say this in the hope to prolong my life. God has taught me how to die and he will strengthen my faith. As for my brother, and those others who were unjustly condemned. I would willingly have suffered many deaths to deliver them, but since I see it pleases the king, I will willingly accompany them in death, with this assurance, that I shall lead an endless life with them in peace. Master Kingston, please go and make sure to report my lady's true and last confession to the world and know it. I will. Mr. Crump, I do not suppose that even at this last hour the evangelical bishops that we put in place might intervene for me. Oh, just the end. No. I understand. How could they forgive me? 